Welcome Theatre Addicts. My name is Karen and I'm here outside of Studio 16 uh, about to go in and see Cocky by Beth McLaughlin as part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. I don't know much about this production other than Beth is a storyteller out of San Francisco and she's technically Catholic. It says that it's going to be funny, intense, intimate and it does note that it's 18 plus so I'm expecting some adult humor and outside of that I don't really have many expectations so it's gonna be a bit of a gamble a bit of a surprise and I'm looking forward to it get back to you shortly well I just stepped out of 60 minutes of storytelling by Beth McLaughlin uh, for cocky and it's interesting um, first of all she seems to be, I think, suffering with a bout of laryngitis. She had a microphone so you could hear just fine. Um, it was a little raspy, which I have to admit was a little distracting to me at the beginning, but then I got so enraptured by her stories that it really didn't matter in the end. Um, that could also just be her voice, but for a storyteller, I suspect probably not. So um, I really don't think it affected her delivery in any way though. It just took a little bit of getting used to. As far as the storytelling, um, it, the description says funny, intimate, and intense. I'd agree with two of the three. Um, definitely intimate and intense. Um, perhaps maybe intellectual. Didn't really find any parts funny. Um, so that, yeah, if, if you're looking for comedy, this isn't the show. As far as her storytelling, it's really her stringing together moments, mostly from her childhood, where she describes them um, very specifically, uh, very intriguing in her descriptions. And from those descriptions and, and her observations also that she experienced as a child, you infer feelings. And I think that's where the intenseness and the intellectual come in, is that it's really truly understanding how she felt and, and, and the way she dealt with a lot of those moments and, and what they instilled in her. So because it was her childhood, she speaks a lot of her father, her mother, her siblings. I find the reference to her siblings quite interesting. It's almost like you get a sense of not inferiority but not really belonging um, of this in this family uh, even as she goes into adulthood um, it, it sounds like she she feels very much the outside looking in which does make it very intense and, and you're compelled to feel for her she covers off a number of topics um, or touches on I guess you could say throughout the course of the storytelling with the various characters in her life things such as love death, divorce, alcoholism, uh, God she touches on. Um, again, nothing specific, no good, no bad, but just, I guess, uh, a child's interpretation of where the moments in a child's life develop their thoughts on these topics and how those get carried through into adulthood. So at the end of the day, you take away all of these little stories, observations, moments, and you feel like you know a little bit of this person, this character, this storyteller, and what they've shared with you, and an insight into really their soul. Um, it, it, it was very touching, uh, absolutely touching. Um, funny, again, not so much, but definitely um, intense. Um, and intimate, definitely intimate. I think that's probably the best word for this uh, production. Um, but yeah, if you've seen this show, I would definitely like to hear your take on this. So please share your thoughts on this or any other show you might have seen in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Theater Addicts YouTube station, as well as check back on the website for more reviews and interviews as they come in. And this is Karen reviewing Cocky at Studio 16 by Beth McLaughlin as part of the 2018 Vancouver Fringe Festival. Thanks.